Hey guys, don't want to waste too much time, just want to sort of get right into what the meat of this video is about. If you look at the title, yes, I am going to explain why it is better to sort of have an idea of what this movie is about before going into it. Personally, I really wanted to know what the movie was about before going into it. I know not everybody likes to do that. If you watch the trailer, it doesn't give away a lot of stuff. And personally, I'm a Darren Aronofsky fan. I watched the trailer, I knew this wasn't a conventional horror movie. So I wanted to read a little bit more into it without spoiling too much of the movie for myself. And here's why I, I think I enjoyed this movie so much more knowing what to look for instead of trying to piece it all together while I was watching the movie. So none of the characters in the movie have names, but I found out that Javier Bardem's character is indeed some form of God, and Jennifer Lawrence is Mother Nature. And I think just knowing that makes the movie less confusing right from the get-go. Like, you can point things together, and once Ed Harris comes to the picture, and you know that he is Adam of Adam and Eve, you start to look for things instead of just scratching your head and being like, what is going on in this movie? Michelle Pfeiffer's character comes in, she's Eve. Of course, their two sons come in, which is Cain and Abel. So when you're looking for these things, you can... Most people are aware of these stories of the Bible. You don't gotta be much of a reader of the Bible to know these stories. So you'll start to, you know, point at certain things, start to look at Ed Harris's side for that second when he's vomiting and see that he had a rib taken out. And I think that once you know these things, it makes the third act, which is completely crazy, way more enjoyable. Because once you know that the movie is sort of a loose adaptation of the Bible, you start to put things together in the third act. That Otherwise, if you're just a casual moviegoer like the, the audience I was in, you'll just be clueless and you'll leave really angry, wanting your money back. And I know most people don't want to know these things before going into the movie, but I do think this will benefit how much you enjoy the movie knowing these things this time around. Like a movie like Cabin in the Woods, yeah, I, I do think it benefited from not knowing exactly what happened, unless you're just someone who just has no clue what's going on in that movie, which that movie's fairly straightforward. But in this movie, it is an art house movie, which is all, you know, biblical allegories and, and crazy stuff. And I can see why some people wouldn't like that in general, but if you're a true movie fan and you know these things going into the movie, it can enhance the experience so much when the madness starts to unroll. That's just my personal opinion. I knew this stuff going in. I love this movie. I believe I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. And I haven't stopped thinking about it and I watched it a few days ago. So if you've seen the movie, did you enjoy it or did you not enjoy it? Did you know what it was about before going in? Did you not know what it was about going in? Did you find out what it was about after watching the movie and respect it just a little bit more? I think that if you know what's, what it's about going in, regardless if you actually like the movie or not, you'll find the, the room and the time to respect the filmmaking aspects of it. Thank you for watching.